Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. This live look at Harrisburg after a day filled with heavy rains and winds. Things are finally calming down outside, but not before Debbie left a path of destruction. Our Sarah Wilson is in Harrisburg. Ireland Viscount is right outside East Berlin, Adams County. With a closer look at the damage, we will get to them in just a moment. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crumwell, along with meteorologist Dan Tommaso. Debbie, the big story of the day. Absolutely, and a lot of the heavy rain happened even before many of us were awake, in addition to some high winds. Still dealing with some pockets of heavy rain, obviously, but the good news is a lot of this is pushing north and northeast, where the center of circulation is right now over northern PA. So if you are experiencing some flooding, maybe some basement issues, seeing the creeks rising, the best news of all for today is a lot of this is beginning to pull away. So we should see a return to normal conditions here over the next few hours. Now, in terms of what we have locally, if we can switch to max two, Lancaster showing a lot of low low cloud cover, but also a little bit of sunshine trying to sneak through. And in terms of heavy downpours, they're still dealing with some activity there. We have a tornado watch in effect until 2 o'clock, but west of the river, that is really not a threat anymore. So I do expect the watch to be canceled west of the river. East of the river, we could still see some pockets of rotation. That is possible as we head in through the rest of the afternoon. The heaviest rain moving into Schuylkill County now and Berks County. So again, leaving the area for now, but still some residual flooding taking place. Any green box here, this is signaling a flood warning. What does a flood warning mean? The accumulation of rain on creeks and streams could lead to some overflow in some areas. So again, any flash flooding issues seem to be moving on. That was allowed to expire in the last couple of minutes. So in terms of precision cast, we have some scattered showers throughout the afternoon. But James, as I mentioned, the worst is likely now leaving the area. We'll have more updates about a nicer weekend forecast coming up back to you. All right, Dan. Well, one of the hardest hit areas is Bellevue Park in Harrisburg. That is where we find our Sarah Wilson. She joins us live. Sarah, what is it like there? James, just an absolute uh, astronomical amount of damage. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see behind me. And that damage that you're looking at really extends all the way from Market and Dairy Street to here at Bellevue Park. You can see all the branches down. We are told this road, as well as many others throughout this neighborhood, were covered in debris. And James, what is just so tragic this afternoon is the fact that so many people have been impacted and so many people have lost so much, including some people, their homes. Now, we spoke with Harrisburg fire chief and he says this part of Harrisburg by far got the brunt of this storm and that is really evident throughout all of this video. Neighbors we spoke to say they woke up around 4 a.m. to crashing sounds. Those were trees falling down. Yards and homes are absolutely still covered in them. One man here on Bellevue Road was nearly crushed by a tree around 4 a.m. when it fell on top of his home. He had to pull himself out of bed from under the debris. Amazingly, he is okay. Everything collapsed on me, and I was buried in wood and um, insulation mainly. Um, but um, but I was able to. You know, I crawled out of out of that. Um, got my wife was in the other room at the time, and so she was safe through the whole thing. And he he is OK, he says he has a couple of bumps and bruises, but he feels lucky at this point to, to be alive. And that's it. that is a cliche. But in his case, he says it's true. Now, we did speak with Chief Brian at our line of Harrisburg Fire Bureau. He has been the chief for 10 years in Harrisburg for over a decade. He says this is one of the worst, if not the worst storm, James, that he has seen in all of his time here. Sarah, I know that area where you're at very well, it is full of trees and just to see so many of them lying there on the ground behind you, the neighborhood looks completely different. It does look completely different, James, and neighbors we talked to say they actually kind of moved here usually because or originally because of the trees. There were so many of them and they liked that they had that kind of privacy, that area. There's a part um, in the road uh, behind me that we can go to for 1230 and I can show you guys. There were trees up. They're now gone. And what's interesting is you can see the skyline there. That is not something that you could see before, really, because those huge oak trees were so tall and just uh, and, and covered the area, James. Definitely what that neighborhood was known for. All right, Sarah Wilson live there in Harrisburg. We'll check back with you coming up in our next half hour. Thanks so much. More damage for you here in Dolphin County. Take a look at what the storm did to this business. This is Inclinator Company of America in Soterra Township. Part of the warehouse collapsed and the roof caved in. 
Trees are down around that area too. Fortunately, it doesn't appear anyone was hurt. And in Harrisburg, here's a usual problem spot. This is the parking lot at the farm show complex. Much of it is underwater. Look at that. Nearby McClay Street has been closed all morning after flooding there. It's an area notorious for cars getting stuck trying to drive through the standing water. It does look like the water there is starting to recede. More damage for you in Adams County. That area was under a tornado warning this morning. Ireland Viscount live outside East Berlin with more on that part of the story. Good afternoon, Ireland. Good afternoon, James. So we were heading towards East Berlin, that area that did have a tornado warning this morning. So then we got stopped by this bridge. We're going to show you exactly how flooded this bridge was literally onto the road. We're near Baltimore. We're on Baltimore Pike near Swope Salvage and Recycling. Now this is Red River Run and you can see just how high the water is. We've seen some people drive straight through the water here. Many have also turned around. So this is what it looked like when we got here around 11. Now we're going to come back and we're going to show you what it looks like now no longer flooded people going straight to through so James within that hour the bridge is no longer flooded here but emergency services still have this road blocked off we're going to continue to head towards East Berlin to see what other storm damage we can find. I do know we will be heading to Paradise Township where we're told that people are being evacuated from their homes near the Conewaga Creek. But James, I'll send it back to you so we can head that way um, and we'll see you in the next half hour. All right, that sounds good. Ireland Viscount live there. We'll see you coming up in our next half hour as well. Well, today's severe weather has knocked out power for Thousands of people in our area. Let's take a closer look at who's getting hit the hardest. Dauphin County has more than 4,700 outages right now. Adams County has more than 1,300 customers without power. Perry County currently has more than 4,000 outages. Juniata County has around 1,100 and Cumberland County has more than 1,400 outages. Franklin County has almost 200 outages. You can see all this information on our website by going to ABC 27. Com. Now, because of Debbie Hershey Park and Zoo America are closed today, they say they made that decision for the safety of guests and team members. The park will reopen tomorrow.